held them for 10 points in the first 54 minutes, obviously they had been in the last few guys. What was the theory that you could pinpoint as far as the difference in the way they were able to finish against you? Oh, in the second half? Their final two drives. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think they just made more plays than us, honestly. I'm try- I was trying to think back in the locker room of anything I could have done differently. Um, you know, it was, um, there were so many chances in that game to, you know, to close it out. I wanted us to be in that situation, honestly, you know, just so we could um, – so the defense could be the reason that, you know, we, we end the game. But, unfortunately, you know, they made more – like I said, they made more plays than us at, uh, on that drive. Yeah, but what happened on the uh, the dropped interception between you? I think it was uh, DJ Reed. Yeah, um, you know it was just one of those situations where we we both happened to be in the same spot at the same time and both went for the ball and it just didn't go in either of our hands, unfortunately. You thought you guys might have come out a little flat today. Did you did you get that sense at all? And how difficult was it coming back after the, the tough game last week? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, it was for sure. We for sure could have came out with a little more juice uh, on both sides or just as a team in general. Um, you know, I tried to, I, I was trying to, I was trying to get us going a little bit, but even, you know, even myself, I feel like I still could have brought even more, uh, early on in the game. And as the game went on, uh, I always look at myself when it comes to that kind of stuff on defense, um, me bringing that juice and, um, the energy. Does this not feel like you just clinched the playoff berth? No, I feel like we just clinched the playoff berth. Yeah. Feels like a loss, you know, uh, we knew the implications of the game, but at the same time, uh, we have to, we had to show what we had to show up, and we didn't make enough plays to win the game. In a, in a tight game like that, on that final drive, do you miss someone like Richard Sherman on the field and sort of his expertise and experience? Um, I mean, Sherman, he's he's a leader of this defense. Of course, we were going to miss him for the I mean, in the game, but we we were fully confident in the players we had. Uh, you know, in Akello and and E Man out there at, at corner. I, yeah, I wasn't. It didn't make me any less confident in what we what we were um, capable of. What was, what was just the overall defensive strategy of, of covering Julio as the game was going on? Uh, I mean, we knew he was going to be a big part of what they were going to do, uh, trying to get the ball to him as much as they could. And, uh, you know, I think as the game went on, we, we tried to make adjustments to make sure we had him contained and he, he made a, he made enough plays for them to win the game. So, um, yeah, we had, we had our chances to um, close it out. Before I said, thank God it was a short. It's a short week, so you can move right onto the Rams. You feel that way? You can't wait to get back on the field. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, anytime you lose, you hope that you can get back going quickly uh, to get this taste out of your mouth. Obviously, it sucks um, being in this position, but we have a great, uh, you know, a great test ahead of us. Even after this week, you still, if you, if you win out, control seating, positioning, all that kind of stuff. Is there any solace to be found in that? Uh, yeah. I mean, we. We're on. We're on LA. Uh, you know, I think we're just going to focus on them right now. All that other stuff will take care of itself as long as we take care of business on our end.